One of the few things I've bought this summer for my classroom. Um, iced coffee. Got our work vest on. Wet hair life. We are headed to work. We are working in a different Walmart today, but that still means that I clock in at my normal Walmart and I drive to the other Walmart. I work there, take my lunch, still at that Walmart, and it's just a whole thing. But the nice thing is I get paid for the time that I'm driving and they pay you mileage from going back and forth from our store to their store. So that's really nice. So I'm working in this other store for three days. If you're here for classroom stuff, well, this last week they spent three days just digging a drain hole. So my principal texted me the other day and said, don't come to school. You're just going to be sad because they told me the end of July, it's July 19th. So yes, um, next Monday, the 25th, I think I have a meeting at school and I'm on one of the interview panels. So I'll be there all day. And, um, I was hoping to just do a little like walkthrough and see the progress on the remodel, but Maybe that's not gonna happen. But let's drive to my Walmart, clock in, and go to this other store. So one of the nice things is they gave everybody work cell phones, and I'm gonna be honest, most of the time they're not very convenient. But because they gave us work cell phones, they took out the normal time clock, and you can now use your phone to clock in and out of. So for people like me, who just clocked in basically from the parking lot, um, I don't have to go inside anymore. So like last year when I was working at um, other stores during the summer helping with their inventory, you have to park your car, get out, go walk inside all the way to the back room to the time clock to clock yourself in and then walk back to your car and just like waste, I don't know, five minutes of your life. And now I don't even have to leave my car. Just got to get close enough to the building to clock in and then start driving to the other store. But that does cause problems. Um, especially with minors, you know, those 17 year olds who think that they can just clock in and then they go home and then they just drive back like four hours later to finish their shift and clock out. Y'all, people are smart enough to notice that you're clocked in and you're not in the store. Like, we try to keep track of our people and we're well aware of it. So, don't do it. Time clock theft is a fireable offense. So generally, the hardest part is finding someone to let me in to the fitting room where I store my stuff and then figuring out what they want me to do. So let's go hang out in apparel today. So it's lunchtime. I feel like it's been so long since it's been nice enough to eat in my car. It's been like 90, 95 in Wisconsin, which I guess for Texas, California, Florida people, that's like decent. But for here, that's like really, really hot. So today is a nice 75 and breezy. So perfect day to eat in my car with some fazolis. Um, I got the double slice pizza cheese and breadsticks and a strawberry icy. I almost went to McDonald's, but then I told myself, Monica, you can go to McDonald's every day of your life. This Walmart has the Fazoli's next to it. Why don't you go to Fazoli's? So here we are at Fazoli's. So this store is now mm, eight days from inventory and insane the amount of freight and stuff they still have left. At my store, we'd be going around making sure everything has tags and it's nicely folded. It's easy for the counters to you know, do their counting. Um, at this store, we're still working stuff from February. I'm taking brand new things out of the plastic wrap. That's a dollar fifty because that's how long it's been hanging around in a box. I don't know how they're ever gonna be ready. Hello, hopefully the wind is not bothering y'all because it is windy, but it feels really nice. It is um, Thursday the twenty first. This is supposed to be my last day working at this store, but tomorrow I only work five to ten at my normal store. So I said, like, if you call my store manager, I mean, I wouldn't mind coming and hanging out with you guys tomorrow. So I would rather work seven to four than five to ten because this store. They have inventory in six days. And at my store, we'd be like deep zoning, like folding underwear and sizing bras and making sure everything has a tag. And here we're still wading through boxes that haven't been opened in three months. Like it's just crazy. The tables are a disaster. You should never have clothing in the middle like that. Not only is it hard to shop, but, but the company that we hire to come count our stuff, they need to be able to count the stuff. And if it's shoved in the middle of the table, you can't do that. So tables like this, 
is a heck no. And every single table is like that. I'm sure there's probably like mm, 30 tables in your typical Walmart. It's crazy. Six days. I don't know what they're gonna do because I think this is the last day that people from other stores are signed up to help them. And there's people from stores like over an hour, two hours away here at this store. Um, and that's a pretty good gig too because Walmart will pay to put you up in a hotel. So actually my current teaching job, I got the job offer while I was um, in a hotel in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin, which is mm, two hours from about where I live. So I was staying in a hotel there with a couple of Walmart friends and then it's kind of like a vacation almost because you're in a new town and you're getting paid for your gas mileage you're getting paid your food so like you get a breakfast a lunch and a dinner and i think you get like ten dollars for breakfast like fifteen dollars for lunch and like twenty dollars for dinner so you're eating out for every meal you're hanging out with your fellow walmart friends and they put you up in a hotel and our hotel had a pool so it's like we worked for like 12 hours a day and then we'd have dinner together and then we'd go mess around in the hot tub in the pool and we did that for like a week and it was actually really fun and it's just fun to talk to other associates too and just see like how this store compares to their their own because we've all been comparing um like our store compared to this store just like the amount of merchandise they have the amount of clearance and just like company policies as a whole it's just interesting a couple people from black river falls i was talking to they were saying that the customers here and the associates are just not very friendly and you know what i agree and yesterday i was like oh my gosh these customers here they're just smelly that's kind of a stigma of Walmart that, you know, the people that shop there are in their pajamas and they don't take showers, but like, there's something about this store compared to my store where, yeah, the people here, the customers, are a little bit smellier than mine. So, I'm gonna finish my lunch at McDonald's. I almost went and got noodles and company, but I had um, fettuccine last night, so I wasn't really craving pasta. Mm -hmm. So I went to Noodles and Company for lunch, and then I also went to Target on the side of Starbucks, and I still have 20 more minutes left of my lunch, so I'm just gonna wander around Target again. I totally should have done a before and after, but I spent two hours fixing this section. This wall is beautiful. Really, who puts their shoes there? <laughs> 